Close 6.30, you're watching East Midlands Today. Tonight, finding a match for Lilia, the girl campaigning for more of us to become bone marrow donors. The 12-year-old from Nottingham has an aggressive form of leukaemia. I really want to do this like, whole thing to like raise more awareness and get more people to donate so that they can help other people like me. Very good evening to you. Welcome to Monday's programme with Anne Davis and me, Dominic Heal. Hello, good evening. Well, first tonight, a 12-year-old girl from Nottingham diagnosed with an aggressive form of leukaemia is appealing for more bone marrow donors to come forward to help save more lives. The hashtag Find a Match for Lilia campaign was started by the youngster from Willerton alongside her friends and family. Lilia says it's not just for her and that helping others is her priority. Hannah Meredith reports. Well, last year's Halloween was like the last day I felt well. For 12-year-old Lilia from Willerton in Nottingham, the last four months have been some of the most challenging in her young life. It was a lot at the start. It was like painful and traumatising and all I wanted to do was go to sleep. Lilia has been diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia and is undergoing chemotherapy, but she now needs a bone marrow transplant and it was hoped her 11-year-old brother Archie might be a match. I wanted it to be me so I could help her. And you already feel proud of, of your child that, that's got cancer for everything they're dealing with, minute by minute, day by day. Um, and then for him to, to willingly step forward and say he'll do something as well, yes, immensely proud, because it's a very frightening thing. I told him then like, how proud I was of him for like trying, and I think he was brave, and we all probably wish he was a match. But sadly, Archie wasn't. So Lilia, with the help of friends and family, launched the Find a Match for Lilia campaign, hoping more people would come forward to join the bone marrow register. It's not guaranteed someone will be a match specifically for me, but I really want to do this like, whole thing to like, raise more awareness and get more people to donate. And she said to me, I know it's probably not going to help, me mum but if I can help somebody else then that would be brilliant and that was astonishing actually given everything she's going through that she was thinking in that way um, it was incredible and I thought we're gonna have to do this <laughs> we're gonna have to do it. I think if loads of people help then it'll be really easier for other people like Lydia to find a match easier and they won't have to go through all the tr more trauma. The search for a match is global, and for Lilia, like many patients with leukaemia, the bone marrow transplant offers the best chance of a cure. I want to help people, and that's just my main priority. Well, Alex Cupid is from the Anthony Nolan Trust, an organisation which every day manages to help three people find a bone marrow match. Um, Alex, why is this campaign so important, do you think? Well, we're always needing more people to come forward and join the Anthony Nolan Stem Cell Register. Um, and it's just amazing when, when families and patients like Lilia um, are going through such a difficult time that they choose to, to make something positive out of it and share their story uh, and appeal to people to come forward and, and make that difference to help save more lives. Am I right in saying that you're, you're particularly keen to encourage uh, donations from younger people? Yeah, that's right. So anybody aged between 16 and 30 can come forward and say, you know, I'm, I'm willing to help somebody like Lilia um, to help save their life. And they can do so by visiting anthonynolan.org, um, where you can fill in our online form to apply to join the register. Uh, and we can send you a swab pack in the post. Uh, just briefly to go back to Lilia, how unusual is it for family members like siblings not to be a suitable match? Yeah, so um, when somebody's told that they need a, a stem cell transplant, there's around a 30% chance that they could find a match from a uh, sibling. Um, if they can't, like Lilia, unfortunately, uh, that's when they come to, you know, people rely on Anthony Nolan then to come mm. forward and, and find them their matching donor. Whoever that person is, wherever they are in the world, okay. um, we try and find them. Indeed, so very, very important. Alex, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.